What is going on YouTube? Joe here with Culination Media and welcome back for another episode of Pokemon Storm Silver. This is episode number 60 and last time we defeated Blaine in the Seafoam Islands gym thingamajiggy because of course uh, Cinnabar Island was basically burned to the ground and that's where we are now. So yeah, we're going to be surfing to the west and eventually getting to Pallet Town, I think that is... That's what the goal is going to be. I want to check the map really fast, and I shouldn't be going into the bag because my map is not in there. Um, oh, we actually want to be going to the north, not to the not to the west because there's nothing to the west. So we want to go um, up Route 21, a coastal road where the only threat might be the volcano on the horizon. That should take us to Pallet Town, and then eventually we can go through Route 1. And we can get ourselves to Viridian City, where we will be taking on the final gym leader of the game. So that is pretty cool. Uh, I didn't even check to see if I healed everybody up. I'm pretty sure that I did, because I don't normally just not do that. Because I normally do that. Uh, I try to do that at the end of every episode. So, yeah. Uh, we do need to pull out some repels. Otherwise, I will get attacked by a thousand and a half wild Pokemon. Oh, I still have a repel active. Okay, then. Alright, everybody's all healed up. I guess I want to put Kirby out in the front just because she is kind of lagging behind everyone else. Carrasco is up to level 68 after getting some training done in the gym. And of course, now the repel wears off when I take like two and a half steps. Let's uh, go ahead and activate another max repel. And we can be on our merry way. We'll see if there are going to be any trainers to fight. Did I battle you? I must have battled you already. How do I... How do I get up there? This isn't good. I, I have, really have no idea how I'm supposed to get over there. Um, maybe I can't? That would be really unfortunate. I battled you already. This is the Seafoam Islands. Well, crap. This is not looking good. This is not looking good at all. I battled all you people. Maybe we have to fly to... Whatever that other town is, Pewter, and then go south as I was holding down the speed up button there, so we have a graphical glitch. All right, so let's go back to uh, Cinnabar, I guess, if there's really no way for me to go north. Is that really a thing? I can't, I cannot serve to the north? That's really unfortunate. Wait a minute, wait a minute. I found it. Okay, it was that little tiny strip that I missed. So I guess I'll check what's over here. There's no music. That's weird. Is that supposed to be happening? I feel like that's not the right thing. Uh, hey, trainer, how about you put on a swimsuit too? Why do I need to put on a swimsuit? I'm not actually in the water. There's absolutely no reason for that whatsoever, swimmer Kendra. And she's going to send out a slow king at level 65, which is a bit scary, I'm not gonna lie. Um, I will go for a pluck, since that is our most powerful attack. Slow king's bulk is primarily on the special side and that is going to allow us to pick up a 2-8 KO here but we have to get hit with a Psychic first and that's probably not going to feel too good yeah that does I mean it didn't even do half so I guess it's not that bad and as long as we don't get low rolled here Kirby's going to get a kill and we see the kill alright alright good job Kirby I feel like we haven't used Pidgeot really at all in the previous few episodes and that's a little bit upsetting I don't know if I like that. Oh, that was her only Pokemon. Oh, now we do have the music again. So it was just kind of spazzing out there. I don't know. I'm going to try to battle quite a few of these trainers because I don't know what the levels are going to look like when we get to the next gym. And then after that, we have um, a rematch with the Elite Four because I'm pretty sure we can do that. And then we also have a battle against the Red. And we're going to have to be at least around level 80, I would think, if not higher than that because it's red. And I'm sure Drano made it a little bit more difficult in this game, so that kind of scares me too. Pluck should be a solid to a KO on this Golduck, and it misses a Zen Headbutt, which is really unfortunate for him because it has, what is it, 90% accuracy? So Golduck's just gonna die there, and that's, that's fine by me. Starmie is next. That can probably kill me in one hit. Probably has Ice Beam or T-Ball or something. And I don't even know if we'd outspeed it. I'm going to give it a go. And hope that we outspeed it and that it goes for like 
I don't know, bubble beam. That would be freaking great. We do outspeed it because of the level difference, I would assume. And Starmie doesn't have the best physical defense, so that does a lot of damage. That's a crit. That is a crit. Thank you, base Roman, as always. There's at least, like, three crits per episode, and they almost all matter. It's ridiculous. So that actually worked out pretty well for us. Pretty freaking well. I guess I will battle you now. Bird Keepers are so wonderful with their bird Pokemon. We're actually close enough to go heal up again if we need to instead of using potions. Bird Keeper Easton is going to send out a Dodrio. We should outspeed this, so I will pluck it. I don't think this thing can kill me in one hit with anything. And is that a... Oh, wow, I thought that was going to be an Elko. But of course he has the Endeavor. That is not okay. That is not okay. It's going to bring us all the way down to 31 HP. Don't have Quick Attack. Thank you very much. So Kirby's going to pick up another kill here, but we're probably going to have to switch... And Alex is looking like a pretty decent switch because Choice Scarf means he outspeeds everything. Far-fetched. Okay, I basically could just switch in whatever I wanted here. Um, yeah, I'm going to switch in Alex because we're probably going to have to battle some more swimmers and fishermen and such. And Blast might get some use there because, you know, they all have water-type Pokemon. So he's got a Far-fetched. Level 63. That would probably die to an Icy Wind, but I don't want to risk the miss. And actually, did Forfetch typing change in this game? It may have. Maybe it's like fighting and flying or something. I could have sworn that it had a typing change. Maybe I'm just mistaken on that, though. Star Raptor, I am going to stay in because we should still outspeed it. I love Star Raptor's cry. It's just so amazing. So he does get the Intimidate. That is completely meaningless because we're going to hit you up with an Ice Beam. And there is no way on earth that you are taking that because Star Raptor is frail. Speaking of Star Raptor being frail though, with the Intimidate can actually take hits pretty well on the physical side, so I'm kind of tempted to try a physically defensive set, uh, competitively speaking. I feel like that would be interesting. Altaria. Okay, I mean you get Roost, you have priority in Quick Attack if you really wanted to go that route. Um, although I don't know how good that would be on a defensive Pokemon. And then... I don't know what else you would go for. I mean, Brave Bird and Double Edge are great as far as coverage and such, but and just power, and they get stabbed and all that fun stuff, but the recoil is kind of undesirable on a somewhat frail Pokemon, but I don't know. I'm just kind of musing here. Uh, so we don't want to teach Alex Sheer Cold because we are not bad people. We are, we're just not that bad. He couldn't handle it. Do I really want to go back and heal up? Oh, we have another graphical glitch. I'm just going to skip over that. Uh, I think I'm just going to use some medicine. Uh, we will give some lemonade to Kirby. Two of those should do the trick. Not get him back up to full health, but uh, that puts him into a range where she can probably take a hit or two if she needs to, which I'm sure she will because she can't Oko anything. I battled you already, so I guess we'll battle this guy next. There's a lot of trainers. Question is, did I become a fisherman because I'm patient, or did I get more patient because I'm a fisherman? Yes, that's quite the riddle here from Fisherman Gideon, who is going to send out a lantern, and we cannot stay out on that. Unfortunately, the electric type stab is not going to feel so good. I don't really have much for this. I really don't. Uh, Volt Absorb is a problem because I can't go into Blast. Uh, I guess Carrasco, but. I'd have to go for Dragon Pulses, and that I don't even know if that's a 3 at KO. I don't see that we have much of a choice, though. Um, actually, Lin might be able to take a couple hits. Alright, let's 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 go with Lin. And we see the Discharge. Don't get a Paralysis, please. Don't get a Paralysis. Okay, thank you. We can go for a Psychic. That should do over half to this thing. Lantern is a bulky sack of potatoes. Just a very high HP stat, so we're not going to kill this thing. That did solid damage, and we're going to get some health back via our lovely Shell Bell. And he's going to go for the Bubble Beam this time, which is great, because even if he does get the Clutch Speed Drop, I'm pretty sure we still outspeed it. So yeah, and he doesn't even get it, so we can go for an Aura Sphere. Pretty sure that'll kill from there, and we don't have to waste a Psychic, because I don't know how many trainers exactly we're going to be running into. I feel like it's not going to be as many as the previous routes, but this is already trainer number four or five or something. I don't know, I already lost track. 
So we'll get some HP back via the Shell Bell. Everyone's going to get some nice experience. And we have Mantine coming out next. Good old Mantine. I'm going to switch in Blast on this because that's really the only thing we have to hit it. We should Oko it with a Volt Tackle. Mantine also has pretty decent uh, HP, I think. So we're probably going to take a lot as far as Recoil is concerned. But I'm fine with that if it means that we don't really have to deal with this Mantine. Because I don't like Mantine, it's kind of annoying. Yeah, you're not taking that, I'm sorry, your defense just isn't that good. Actually, it was only, only about 50 HP worth of recoil, which isn't too bad. Blast almost grows up to level 68 in the process, and we can continue on surfing here. And there's another fisherman. Wait a minute, is that the end already? That might be the end. Whoa, a nibble! Huh, a battle? Okay, let's go! All right, let's do it. Fisherman Liam, who only has one Pokemon, and of course it is a Gyarados, which also probably has EQ, but I don't think you're gonna go for EQ with a Pidgeot just chilling here. So I'm free to go into Blast. And we see the Hyper Beam come out. That's interesting. We may have to go for a Potion, actually. No, never mind. We can just go for a Volt Tackle. That should take you out. And, yeah, it's not going to kill us. We're not going to take 99 HP worth of recoil damage, because if we did, I would be a very sad little kitty cat. Mmm, actually, that was a lot. That was really a lot. It's like 60 HP. 60, 65, 66, something like that. So Blast is going to grow up to level 68, which is great. And that's it. So that does it for Liam. Mom is calling us yet again, because that's what she does. She calls us. I will give some Lemonade to Blast. And I could give him another Lemonade, but I'm not going to. Because I don't think he needs it. He doesn't need all that Lemonade. It's not necessary. Okay, now we can battle you, Mr. Swimmer. If you ever see me. There you go. You gotta keep going. That's all you have to say. It's gotta keep going. Alright, he has two Pokemon. Quagsire being one of them. This thing can't really touch me for much. So I'm just gonna go for a Pluck. Choice Banded Pluck should do... I don't know if it's going to do half to a Quagsire. Uh, no, it doesn't. And he's going to yawn me. Of course you're going to yawn me. I don't like that. I could go into Carrasco here. I could go into Roman here, because he's not going to go for an EQ. But he's going to go for Waterfall, maybe. Some type of water move, so I don't want to go into Roman. Never mind. Uh, I guess we have to go into Carrasco, because if he has Waterfall or Aqua Tail or something, Lin, I'm pretty sure, just dies, even though this is a Quagsire. So we have to make the safe play and go out into Kingdra, as he's going to go for the Amnesia. <sighs> this is not good. This is not good. I can't hit you with Water-type attacks, because you do have the Water Absorb. So I will go for the Dragon Pulse, and we will see how much that does. Okay, that's enough. And he goes for the EQ, as expected. Hopefully that doesn't do too, too much, and we should be able to take you out with a Dragon Pulse on the following turn. So, yeah, that, that wasn't that bad. We'll go for the Dragon Pulse, and even at plus two, Special Defense, you still can't take that, because you just can't. And we get a meaningless critical hit. Carrasco is always pulling out the crits. He's a crit machine. It's ridiculous. He really is. Octillery. Uh, I feel like Kirby might be able to just Oko that, but I don't know if it's worth the risk. Because they can carry Ice Beam and... Well, we're going to go for it. We're going to give it a go. Kirby deserves the screen time, deserves the chance to shine. So, I mean, an Octillery is not that bulky. So this is going to do a lot of damage. I don't know if it's going to kill because it's a base 60 power move, but it's going to do a lot of damage. Yeah, it's just well over half, and we see the Aurora Beam coming out, which is better than Ice Beam. I don't think that'll kill. That probably will do a lot of damage because it is an Octillery. Just kidding, that really didn't do that much. And thankfully, he did not get the Clutch Attack Drop. Otherwise, it's possible that this thing was going to survive, and that would not be cool. So, oh, not enough to grow up to the next level, which is fine. And what is the point of this island? I don't understand. Looks like we have some more trainers here. I feel like the game's moving like in extra slow motion. Let's battle you. There's so many trainers. I love bikinis. If I had an electric bikini, I could wear it even in winter. Uh, that's a terrible idea. Swimmer Shalon. Or Chalen. 
no, Chalen is definitely wrong. I don't know how you're supposed to pronounce that. Uh, I'll go for Pluck. Hopefully this thing doesn't have huge power and just completely destroy my life. As that does nothing, and he's gonna go for the rollout. That is... Thankfully that doesn't do that much. I can go for another Pluck. That second rollout is not gonna kill me. It's just not gonna happen. And did we get a crit? No, we did not. We just got a higher damage roll, I think. He's gonna go for a rollout again. And that does a little bit more, but that's really not that bad. We can go for Pluck yet again. We're actually running out of Plucks, and this Azumarill is going down. Kirby's going up to level 68 in the process and trying to learn Brave Bird. That is perfect. I'm getting rid of Pluck. I don't care about the recoil. I don't even care. And I don't care about eating berries either, so you know what? Yeah, Kirby's just going to get a lot more usage now. Because she finally has a stab move that does higher than 60 base power, which is pretty pathetic. So, uh, we probably should switch her out now because we have some Pokemon that are not at level 68, like Lin. So we'll put Lin in the front, actually. And we'll battle you people. What do you have to say? Huh? I've caught a trainer instead of a Pokemon. Well, I'm not even in the water. And he's got a lot of... Wow, he's got a lot of Pokemon. Course of the level 63. I will Aura Sphere you. I love Aura Sphere's animation. It's just so cool. So cool. I really wish they didn't lower the power of it in 6th gen. Because it used to be 90 base power. That was cooler. Too many moves got nerfed. So, yeah. Corsola's going to just die to that. We're going to get some nice Shell Bell recovery. As I'm having, like, weird things happening in my throat. It's about time. Because, is he going to have all Corsolas? If so, I'm just going to kind of skip over that. Because Aura Sphere is just going to kill all of these. I mean, I'll take the experience and the Shell Bell stuff, so, I mean, I'm not going to complain. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he just has all Corsolas, so we're just going to Aura Sphere all of them, and they're all just going to die. And Lin's going to grow up to level 68, another Corsola, is this the last one? As we just watched a whole slew of Corsolas just die in fast motion, that's pretty fun. Not going to lie, that's pretty fun. Yep, that's it for Fisherman Murphy. So we just have Roman, right? That's only at level 67 now. So let's bring him to the front. Even if we're going up against Water-type Pokemon, we can always switch him out. And this guy's a bird keeper anyway. Surrounding yourself with bird Pokemon gives you the feeling that someday you might be able to fly too. I don't know if that's what it does, but okay. As he is going to have a Farfetch. What is it with these guys and their Farfetch? I'll go for an eruption because there's no way in the world that you're taking that because you're a Farfetch'd. I don't care if you got a buff to your stats, I don't care if you're a different typing, you're still a Farfetch'd. And you're just gonna die. That's just what it is. Goodbye Farfetch'd. Wow, Roman has a long way to go before he gets to the next level. And of course, we're dealing with Pelipper now. So I'm gonna have to go out into Blast, because that's really the only thing I have that can kill it. It's actually quite bulky on the physical side. And uh, something like Alex, I don't think, can just kill it. Actually, I don't even think that Lin can kill it in one hit, so... We're just going to be safe and go for the super cool animated Volt Tackle. And yeah, actually that wasn't too bad as far as recoil is concerned. Pelipper goes down and we see Firo coming out next. So I will go back out into Roman for this because Eruption should still kill you. I would hope. I would really hope that that just kills you because you're a Firo. And you're only at level 63 too. So yep. He's just going down to that. Whenever I'm recording like Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire and then I go back and record Storm Silver like right after, I just, I'm so impatient about the HP bar dropping because it's so much slower in this game, or at least it feels like it is. So I don't know, it's just something that uh, kind of gets on my nerves a little bit. I don't know why it does, but it does. All of these trainers, my goodness. All right, I think we're gonna have to switch Roman out because he's got, this is a fisherman person. Um, I'll put, put Lin out there. I'm bored by fishing, let's battle. I would skip over a lot of these trainers if I could, but I feel like we really need the experience for the ending part of the game, which is coming up. So I don't feel comfortable just missing out on all of this. So I guess I could go back and do it off screen as well. 
but uh, then our Pokemon would just jump a ridiculously high amount of levels, and that's kind of crazy. And I don't know if I want to do a grinding montage of that, so here we are. As we get a clutch special defense drop on the Slowbro, and it's not really clutch at all. I don't know why it's going for Psychic. Maybe that's its only attacking move. And he gets a crit, because there's no way it does that much. That's unfortunate, but it's not the end of the world. I'll just go for another Shadow Ball in case he wants to heal, but he does not. Kind of surprised that Slowbar took a Shadow Ball from an Alakazam in the first place, since its special defense isn't that great. But, oh well. A whopping one from <laughs> one HP from the Shell Bell. Gotta love that. So, is this the Latch Trainer before we get to Pallet Town? I don't know if it is. It might be. It's looking like it's going to be. Alright, let's battle you. What do you have to say, little Miss Swimmer? Oh, hey you, will you help me with my sunblock? Don't tell me, you'd rather battle. Do I have a choice? Do I have a choice, Swimmer Nikki? Who's going to send out a Dugong, and that's just gonna die to an Aura Sphere. Pretty sure. Pretty freaking sure you're not taking that. I have no idea when I started recording. I probably should have checked that just to see how long this video is going. Wow, it took us over 20 minutes to get through all of these battles. Are you serious? And I've even sped up quite a few of them, and somehow this thing survives an Aura Sphere. What? What is going on right now? And he goes for Aqua Tails. That's just gonna kill. Is that really just gonna kill? No, it doesn't. Did a lot, though. Um, I guess I'll just go for Shadow Ball now. I cannot believe that that Dugong survived. Like, is that just fully, specially defensive or something? That's outrageous. It's an Alakazam! To be fair, Dugong does have decent special bulk, but still. Still! Walrin. Well, if Dugong is taking a hit, <sighs> Walrin definitely is. I don't really have much to go into. Uh, Volt Tackle might just kill Blast, but I think I'm going to go for it anyway. Because Walrin does have pretty high HP. I know Volt Tackle will kill it in one hit. That's not what I'm worried about. I'm just worried about uh, the recoil because I did not heal up with any potions or anything. And yeah, we get a meaningless crit. That did not matter whatsoever. And we can't take the recoil. So that's a double KO, which is unfortunate because the experience from a Walrin would have been nice. Why, do, why does your HP have to be so high? Stupid Walrin. Stupid Walrin. All right, so we should be able to heal up after this. I'm not going to check what's on the grass here because there's no items or anything. Technology is incredible. You can now trade Pokemon overseas like email. Yes, you can. This is Professor Oaks. Yes, hello, Professor Oak. Ah, oh, Nation, it's good of you to come all this way to Kanto. What do you think of the trainers out here? Pretty tough, huh? Ah, you're collecting Kanto gym badges. I imagine that it's hard, but the experience will surely help you. Come see me when you get them all. I'll have a gift for you. Keep it up. So, how's your Pokedex coming along? Uh, I don't want to have anything evaluated. So we need to come back here to get uh, Rock Climb after we defeat the last gym. So I'll talk to you. Hello, just when you least expect it. Uh, no, not right now, Cameron. Not right now. I know I'm a shy one, but seriously, not right now. I'm raising Pokemon too. They serve as my private guards. So let's check out, uh, this would be Red's house, I would think. Hi, Red's been away. He hasn't called either, so I have no idea where he is or what he's been doing. They say no news is good news, but I do worry about him. How do you never know where your 10-year-old is? Well, I guess he's 15 now, because he was, he was 10 five years ago. So he's like practically all grown up. And we're gonna go check Gary's house. I mean, Blue's house. Hello. It's Daisy. Hi, my kid brother is the gym leader in Viridian City. But he goes out of town so often it causes problems for the trainers. I can imagine it. He was all the way in Cinnabar Island for whatever reason. Can we just rest in this bed? Is that a thing? No. No, sadly we cannot. So we're gonna need to make it to... Viridian City before we get ourselves healed up. Are there going to be trainers here on Route 1? That is the question. That is the million dollar question, and it does look like we're going to have to battle some trainers. Which I don't like. Is my Repel not active? Apparently not, because I ran into a wild Staravia. That was a high-leveled Staravia, too. Jeez. Um. Okay. So I guess, uh, let's, let's have Roman out in the front while we battle people. You there, you want to battle? 
Again, do I have a choice? I do not. And of course, you have a Feraligator. I thought we were done with the Water-type Pokemon, but apparently we're not. And Blast is dead, so that doesn't help us too much. But we do have Carrasco, which does quad-resist the Water-type moves as we see the Screech coming through. I don't like that so much. We just need to deal damage. We don't need to necessarily kill this thing. So thankfully we outspeed because Feraligator is pretty slow. And we'll see how much this Dragon Pulse does. I would expect at least 30% and it does over half. That's a crit. That's a crit. That's an Oko. Again, Carrasco coming through with the crits. It's outrageous how often he uh, pulls those crits. I don't care if he has a Razor Fang. It's still ridiculous. It is still ridiculous. Uh... Do I trust R-Sphere to kill a Kangaskhan? I don't know that I do. I would rather just go into Roman and click Eruption. Even though, even if it does do about the same amount, I have to calculate. I mean, Eruption does, what, base 150 power plus stab, it's over 200. And R-Sphere would be 90, so, you know, super effective, not stab, that'd be 180. So I guess Eruption is more powerful. And that just KOs because Roman is a beast. It's an absolute beast. Uh, Licky Licky. That probably will not die to an eruption. Probably not. Uh, it might die to a choice band in close combat, though. That is possible. That is very possible. Because Kirby's power. Good old Licky Licky. Let's see how much this does. He's probably going to take it because he's a freaking Licky Licky and it's like impossible to kill these things in one hit. They're just so fat. They're so fat. And he does actually go down because of another critical hit. What? What is happening? Somebody please fill me in. Did I miss something? Does everyone on my team have a built-in scope lens right now or something? Jeez. I mean, I'm not going to complain about it as mom is calling us again. I really need to use a repel, but I don't want to because I feel like we're just, we're almost there. Um, I guess I can avoid that guy, but there's some more, there's at least one more guy up there. All right, let's battle you. You, I've been waiting for someone like you. Oh, have you? Someone specifically like me? Ace Trainer Fred. Why do they all start off with water type Pokemon? Why is that a thing? I don't understand. Um, all right, we're going to have to go into Carrasco again. As we see the Aqua Ring, that's going to make this thing a pain in the behind because Dragon Pulse is going to do nothing to a Milotic. It has like base 110 or 115 special defense. Maybe even be higher than that. That does absolutely nothing. And it has Mirror Coat, which is freaking fantastic. So am I really going to have to just... Seriously? Why did it do that much? I know it does double, but jeez. I guess there's no reason for me to not go for Dragon Pulse again. If he's going to kill me with a Mirror Coat, that's fine. We can come in with basically anything to finish it off at that point. And we pull another crit! Carrasco is on fire! Ah, uh, what just happened? I think I paused the game by accident. Because <laughs> I pressed the button on my keyboard, I'm sorry. <laughs> I got way too excited. Wow. With 2 HP, Carrasco is coming through there. That's just insanity. I'm sorry. That is just insanity. Carrasco is like the MVP of this team. He's the weakest attacker, but he doesn't care because he just crits everything. <laughs> just, I can't even believe that. I cannot even believe that. This just dies to an eruption. It would probably just die to a lava plume, honestly, because it's a low punny. So, yeah, you're, you're dead, and we're going to get out of here. That was... That was just too much. That was too much. I don't know if I want to go battle that other kid, so... Oh, wait. Wait. Why did you not battle me? Right after learning it in class, I head outside to practice. Let me guess. You're going to start with Blastoise. Or make it uh, make it Suicune. Why not? Nope, it's going to be Ferret. Okay, so we're going to break the chain of people starting with Water-type Pokemon. Uh, I think you just died to a Lava Plume. I'm not going to waste an Eruption, because I don't know how many more trainers we have to fight. So yeah, he should just die. Oh, he survives, and he goes for the Super Fang. Great. Awesome. I'll go for Earth Power now. It's going to take you out. Really? Ferret, you had to take that? Ferret has no business taking a Lava Plume. Uh, Pidgeot. Okay, that is a perfect candidate for Alex. 
There's no way that uh, this thing is going to take an ice beam because Alex's power, let's be real, he's power. How are we doing on time? Uh, we're approaching the 30 minute mark or we just hit the 30 minute mark. So hopefully we get to Viridian City right after this. We can heal up and call it an episode. Uh, and that's perfect timing. Then we can do some uh, exploration in the city and see if there's anything to look at, people to talk to. Probably not, because Viridian is pretty not complicated. But, yeah. Alright, there's not really anything else. We did miss that one trainer battle, but I'm not worried about that. Uh, let's talk to you. To the south is Pallet Town. That's where Professor Oak, a well-respected Pokemon researcher, lives. Well, thank you for sharing that. And... Ooh, what do we have over here? Nothing. Okay, let's see what we have over here. Nothing except this guy, and I do have Cut with me, so we can uh, go get that really fast. He gives you the TM for Dream Eater? Is that what it is? Maybe that was third gen that I'm thinking of in Fire Red and Leaf Green? Yawn! I must have dozed off of the sun! I had this dream about a drowsy eating my dream. No, it is Dream Eater. Weird, huh? Huh? What's this? Where did this TM come from? This is spooky. Here, you can have this TM, and he's going to give us TM85, which is Dream Eater. Contains Dream Eater, and he's going back to sleep, apparently, so that is cool, I guess. Can I talk to you? Jeez. I heard that there are many items on the ground in Viridian Forest, so we'll have to get out our item finder, I guess. Or dowsing machine, or whatever you want to call it. Hello, just when you least expect it. Didn't I, did I not just run into you somewhere? Like in Pallet Town. So we have a Pokemart. Anything else? Anything else? I guess there's these houses. We might as well go check out to see what's going on in here. You put a lot of thought into naming your Pokemon. Giving them good nicknames adds to the fun of trading with others. What's the point of nicknaming if you're just going to trade it? I mean, unless you're trading it with a friend. I don't know. What, what is this place? Trainer House, the club for top trainer battles. Okay, we're, we don't need to do that. Because we need to go to the Pokemon Center. That's what we really need to do. Hello, little kid. My dream is to become a gym leader. Yeah, I keep dreaming. I heard that the gym in Cinnabar is gone. I wonder what became of Blaine, the gym leader. He's just chilling in a cave somewhere. Viridian's gym leader does not rely on others. The gym leader claims that his policy is to lose to no one without having any underlings. That makes him even more popular. Many trainers have come to work for him. Well, okay then. We're going to get ourselves all healed up. And we are ready to take on the Viridian Gym, but we're going to wait uh, because we are pretty much out of time. So we're going to save that for next time as I'm going to save the game. That's going to be it. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, please make sure you're leaving a like rating or a comment or whatever you would like to do, of course. And I will see you all next time. But until then, game on.